dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time, I know. And we've been doing a bit of a social media detox. We really needed that. You know, making these videos isn't easy. It takes a lot of time and it can be pretty stressful at times. So I hope you understand, but we weren't just hanging around doing nothing. We were actually busy house hunting. And as some of you may know, we started looking for a house back in March. And now finally we have some big news. We have found the perfect place and we will be moving at the end of November. Here's a little sneak peek of our new house and we're super excited about it and we can't wait to move in and finally have a bit more space and a backyard. Yeah, so that's that's our big news. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video because lately we've been getting more and more messages from you guys asking if we're all right. So I thought we should let you know that we are all right. Rancho is actually doing really well. And because I wasn't making YouTube videos, we had even more time for our walks and for our adventures. So yeah, I have to say that we enjoyed our little break. But now we're back and we will be posting a new video every Friday. So stay tuned. And also I decided to do a quick Q&A and answer some of your questions that I found in the comments. So here we go. So the first question or the first two questions, are they good with kids and how is Rancho with kids? So this is a very common question and it depends, but I think as long as you get a well-bred balanced dog and if you socialize them with kids, they should be good with them. You know, Rancho hasn't even been socialized with kids much, but he loves them, especially when they want to play with him. And he's super gentle with them. He lets them take sticks out of his mouth. Uh, but also because of his energy, we need to be careful when he gets too excited around small children because he doesn't realize that he can knock them down. But yeah, generally, he, he's super nice to kids. Okay, next question. How many hours a day does Rancho spend sleeping? Uh, a lot. Basically, every time nothing fun is happening, he goes to sleep. So I'd say it's between 16 to 20 hours a day. But most of the time, it's a very light sleep. And he's always checking where I am, following me everywhere anyway. And so, yeah, it's not a very deep sleep. So next set of questions. Can you tell me what dog breed he is? Is he a mixed breed? Is your dog a rough collie shepherd mix? Guys, this last question, I can't even tell you how many times we have heard this. 
or a similar comment. People either say that Rancho is a German Shepherd or a rough collie or a mix of the two. And I'm sure that if you have a turf, you must have heard this many, many times. And for those who still don't know what breed Rancho is, he's a Belgian Shepherd turf urine. The next question. What did you do when Rancho broke his leg to satisfy his need for mental and physical stimulation? Well, I taught him some tricks that could be done without much movement. We actually have a video about that. Uh, we also did some brain games. I gave him chews. But all in all, I have to say that it was a really hard time and it just wasn't enough. You know, these guys really need physical exercise and the longer he couldn't have that, the worse it got. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it's behind us. The next question, do you think any of the Belgian Shepherds make good first time dogs? Absolutely. I don't think it's about whether it's your first time dog, whether you're a first time dog owner or a second or a third time dog owner. What counts in my opinion is how much time and energy you're willing to dedicate to the dog. And as long as you know what you're getting into, you know exactly what you want and why, and you know what to expect from this breed and you've done your research and you're willing to invest in training, I think you're good to go. You know, these dogs do need a lot of exercise and mental stimulation, but they're also highly trainable and eager to please. And this actually makes things easier, you know, compared to some other breeds that are not such people pleasers. So yeah, definitely. If you have researched the breed, you know why you want them. I don't see a reason why you should not have them. It's not like you need to get a Yorkie first and then maybe a Beagle and then maybe a German Shepherd. Just if you know that you want a big dog and you want to do some sports with the dog, absolutely go for it. Okay, and the last question, how much did he cost from a breeder and how much is a reasonable price for a Tervieren? So it depends where you're from. I asked people on Instagram how much their turfs cost and the price range was quite wide from around 700 to 1800 US dollars, but it was quite a long time ago. Now the prices might have gone up. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And thank you for watching and for being patient and we will see you next time.